place. Yes, you all look natural. Do it? Well, Ted, you said it was a fool to start in a good place like this. Don't call this no place. Why does she have home? Well, it may be home to you, but to me it ain't nothing but a backyard. Listen, I'm going to fix it for you. Quick as I see you, Colonel Fairfax, I get them to hire you. Well, that's what you say. I, I ain't heard the Colonel say nothing. Well, that man's going to be so glad to see me back. Why, well, you'll do anything I ask him. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he's done without me for the last four months. That man depends on me. Yeah? No, so, do. Why, he can't even find his Sunday coat. Well, it's just for them church. Let's not find them for him. Boy, this just show us a good big house, ain't it? Yeah, I, I bet they have some local villas in there. Now you spoke of that. When you need Victoria to cook. That she's found herself halfway since I've been gone. You mean, uh... Yeah, can she cook for it? She sure can make a stove behave. Boy, I'm so hungry right now, I could eat anything that wouldn't bite me first. Yeah, too. Victoria will take care of that all right. Now, yeah. she'll cook up some chicken that's super natural. Oh, boy, I feel right now I'm going to sign up for that girl. Yeah, yeah. If that's the way you're going to carry on, I can you right now. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I can't be fired before I'm hired, and we're buddies, so, so go on and get me the job. Well, wait there while I announce it to the Colonel that the project will have returned. turn. I'll wait here. I'm tired enough now. I'll get you loose. I sure was depending on Colonel Fairfax. Now I don't care what happened. Man, say, was not a police again? Hot digging. Big show. Hello, honey. Yeah, I am back home again. Oh, I know you. Now, this is my friend, Dennis. It's a choice. How do you do? Isn't you glad to see me? I'm not just exactly dotty about it. Dotty? What are you talking about that monkey chasing in the house? How dare you speak of Mr. Somerset in such disrespectful language? Who is that living up there strutting around you like a pea fowl? I'll have you understand that you are referring to Mr. Eustace Somerset from Jamaica, West Indies. A very high-toned gentleman. He's Colonel Fairfax's new valet. Uh, you have a sweet on him, is you? That comes under the heading of my own business. Yeah. I sure would like to meet this Mr. Somerset. It would do you good to make his acquaintance. He's going to be at Sister Tilly's party tonight. Party? But I'm sorry I can't ask you. What's wrong with us? Well, we're just a little too unrefined for our social status. Uh, is it going to be any eat? Freshness will be served with profusion. Uh, don't put no fusion on mine. I, I like this plan. Perhaps later on we might ask you to join us. Awfully sorry, don't you know? Awfully sorry, don't you know? Again, and again, no job, no gal, no party. Looks like we done got in trouble again. We go to Dylan's party tonight. <laughs> if we don't get in, nobody better not try to come out. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh, evening, Tilly. What are you doing here? Uh, Leo, I want you to shake hands with my buddy and bosom pal, Mr. Demi Tad Washington. What's the matter? Been having trouble with your eyes? What a show is high too. What do you mean by intruding that animal into our prison? Well, what's the matter with Lily? We always bring her along. Well, get it out of here before Mr. Somerset sees it. Well, let her lose. Let Mr. Somerset see it. Come on, let's dab out there for a couple of these high and show these high blue folks the real propagate right through here. Look at here. Look. If it ain't Susan Smith. Do so it. There, gal. How's the laundry business? Get him. Watch me get one. I'll Stand by. Now don't get in no trouble. Wait a minute. There's one thing I want to know. Do you love him? Well, you went away and didn't write or nothing. And I didn't know if you was ever coming back. And... Wait a minute. And Stand right over there, honey. Look at here, little lip. Don't call me. You and me can't stay in the same town unless one of us gets maimed. Say, are you by any means threatening me? No. 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 Don't hold me. Don't you see him getting his way? Man, you turn them daggers to lose. You have insulted me. My cause. Keep that. So we'll know what name to put on his tombstone. Okay. I challenge you to a duel on the field of honor. I can bust you wide open on any field in this country. Our seconds can arrange the details. Won't be but one second. I hit you and you goes to sleep. I do not indulge in fisticuffs, if that is what you allude to. I prefer to wrestle. <laughs> you want to wrestle? Come here, Wildcat. Give me a thing, Yes. 
Then we wrestles. I ties you in a lover's knot and wears you for a necktie. Oh, yes, sir. oh really? to keep up my strength. I know, but this is the fifth time you broke train in the day. Well, I ain't had nothing to eat in almost an hour. Well, you can't eat and do like this. Let me get your muscles straightened out here. Go, go easy, brother. Go easy on my stomach. All right, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think of it, Look baby. at this fool laughing. <laughs> Wait a minute, son. Oh, oh, oh. Look out, Dimmit. Look out, Dimmit. Oh, don't get rough, son. Don't get rough. I got to get you ready, man. Stop playing, will you? That's all you've been doing is playing. <laughs>
total Fairfax is named. You may state your business to me. What? Have you gone dotting? Not start. This party is losing its toll. Strike me pink. What a row. <laughs> Voodoo charm. <laughs> Voodoo charm. Hi, Kano. No, I hope you're there. Where's well, Eustace? I think he's halfway to Jamaica by now, with a voodoo in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Jamaica boy never could mince a julep anyway. Thank you, sir. He tried to make me drink tea. Never Dobby. That? Yeah, none of that Dobby business now. I'll break your neck. Anything else, sir? Thinner than you did before you went away. Go out in the kitchen and tell Victoria I said to feed you up. Them sure is kind words. <laughs> I was kind of thinking of that same thing myself. <laughs> feed myself up. What a man. And he never could make a Jew know. Come on, Victoria. Get me some fried chicken. I'm hungry. Ain't nothing left but whole cake. Woman, you heard me say chicken. You ain't nice with no man that wears a window pane in his eye now. Hurry up and get me something to eat before I show you who's boss around here. <laughs> Hurry up now, give me the chicken and stop playing. You can all flustery. Chicken looks fresh too, though. Mm -hmm. Come on, Demi, grab yourself a seat there and make yourself a home. Demi. Uh, uh, that'll get through. That's a starter. Here's <laughs> a starter, too. Oh, you like wings, don't you? Uh, don't keep your hands off the chicken. Uh, Victor, I'm just dotty about your cooking. <laughs> 